Hi guys, this is Maria Design again. Welcome to my channel and remember to give me a thumbs up after watching this video and of course remember to comment down below. And of course remember to punch that subscription button and kick that notification bell below in order for you to get notified every time I upload new video. So you can see from the title of this video, we are going to talk about US visa interview dress code. Well, when it comes to US visa interview, there are actually so many things that we need to look for, prepare. We need to prepare ourselves for an interview. We actually need to prepare our answer as well. In addition to that, do you know that dress code means something when it comes to the visa interview? By the way, there is no specific, there's no exact dress code when it comes to interview, but when it comes to dress code, just, you know, just try to be or try to wear um, smart look clothes and I think that is the best one. Smart casual look is actually the most recommended one that I can actually share to you. Well, if you're wondering what smart casual look is, all you have to do is finish the entire video in order for you to have an idea. Visa interview is actually one of the most difficult interviews that we have. Well, comparing it to job interview, visa interview is a little bit similar to job interview, but the only difference there is actually the purpose. We are applying for visa. It means that we want to enter into one particular country. And we want to go to that particular country because either to visit a friend or friends, family members, or the one that I've actually been doing, traveling or visiting. So if you are preparing for your interview or visa interview in the future, like what I said, this video is perfect for you. When it comes to US visa interview, there are actually so many things that we need to look forward to, so many things that we need to prepare before, during, and even after. In this video, I'm not going to talk about all of those things, but I'm actually going to talk about one very particular thing, dress code. When it comes to U.S. visa dress code, I would like to share to you my experience when I actually had my U.S. visa interview, but not the entire information, but not the entire experience that I had. I mean, dress code. I actually remember when I was about to go for my visa interview, when I had my visa interview, when I had my U.S. visa interview in the Philippines before, I actually took a shower. That's actually the most important thing. Well, if you live in Manila, you definitely need to take shower two to three times a day and of course before you head out you need to take a shower plus i actually put makeup on my face but it's not excessive amount of makeup believe it or not i just had lip gloss that time and our brow liner that's it and a pair of jewelry if i'm not mistaken and a necklace and third perfume the set of perfume that you're going to use is not it's actually the type of perfume that's not really very strong the weather in the philippines is humid particularly in manila it's really very humid there so make sure that your perfume is not really very strong as much as possible cologne is okay but if you don't have that then you don't have to third hair dresser or hair accessories just a pair of hair clip that's it or a piece of hair clip that's it you don't need to put too much on your head on your hair to show that you're very confident as much as possible you just bring a very small purse for your pen and probably for candy and for your and of course money in order for you to transport or you can actually use when you move from one place to another or after your interview and remember not to bring your mobile phones now going back to the dress code in this video i'm going to share to you two important informations the do's and don'ts or the things that we can use and the things that we are not allowed to use or the things that we do not need to use. For men out there, if you're going to have your US visa interview in the future, you need to make sure of the following information. Grab a pen and paper and try writing down the information that I'm going to share because this information is actually very significant and it provides, well, it's not actually 100% that it guarantees you to pass the interview, well, but it gives you that kind of first look impression. First, 
wear blazer or jacket well manila is very humid do we need to wear it we don't need to wear it because believe it or not it's too hot in manila and wearing jacket or suit is inappropriate type of clothing but make sure that's actually the one that you're wearing is actually smart casual look type of clothing but since it's actually too hot in manila short sleeves is actually advisable if you didn't have short leaves, you can also wear polo shirts. But remember, when you are going to share polo shirts, you need to make sure that it has one color only. It's not a multiple color polo shirt. If it's brown, then 100% brown. If the color is black, then 100% black. Just one single color only if you're going to wear polo shirts. What about when it comes to shoes? Since this is actually a visa interview and we are maintaining that smart casual look you need that type of shoes as well smart casual shoes not the kind of funky shoes not the kind of dirty shoes not that kind of rugged shoes smart casual shoes and to all men out there who are going to attend their visa interview in the future these are the things that you need to avoid first avoid wearing extreme colored shirts like neon color like super deep red color like those kind of colors that attracts attention immediately it means something avoid wearing printed shirt try to avoid printed shirt avoid those t-shirts with printed anything on it do not use printed clothes and of course since you're going to have an interview avoid sneakers as well you are going to attend a visa interview you're not going to visit your friends you're not going somewhere else you're not going to the grocery so again avoid wearing sneakers what about sport shoes are you allowed to use that no so again avoid sneakers avoid sport shoes and this is actually one of the most important thing avoid using too much accessories in Manila, it's very hot there, and it's actually one of the most or common accessories men do have is sunglasses. Do not wear them. Leave them at home. Try to have at least half a day or one day of your life not to wear your sunglasses. What about reading glasses? Well, if, I, if you do have reading glasses because of your eyesight is really not that good, well, you better check more information about it. But some people actually, they really need it because they need to read something. Remember to ask information to those people working, especially those ushers working or preparing for you for the interview. But do not ask questions to the interviewer. If you have your beard, mustache, and so on, please trim them make them look casual as well do something to them so again men who are going to have their visa interview in the future all you have to do is always wear smart casual look type of clothing for shoes as well do not wear your sunglasses smart casual look only that's the one that you need to maintain now let's proceed to those women like me. I actually had my interview before and yeah, finally I actually passed it. And I still remember the color of my clothes or of my dress that time, navy blue. One navy blue dress, like pure navy blue dress. Not plunging like mine, not sleeveless. It's actually short, short sleeve type of dress, but not fitted type of dress. And for women out there who are going to attend their visa interview, try to wear the type of clothing that I wore before. One piece of dress, not fitted. It's actually a dress that you can use for like, for any occasions. I even wear that type of dress or that kind of dress for my work, my studies, meet some friends, attend church, um, attend a birthday party because it, it's actually a type of dress that you can use in any occasion. It can be formal or semi-formal. So when you're going to have your interview, you can actually find or wear that type of clothes, a dress that you can actually wear in any type of occasion or any types of occasions. But if you do not have that type of dress, try to wear blouse with blazer. But while Manila is actually very hot, right? If that's the case, then try to wear blouse until here with one color only. 
but you need to make sure that when you wear your trouser or pants avoid wearing denim pants slacks may do but make sure that it's actually dark color of course try to avoid wearing mini skirt shorts super duper shorts again you are going to have your visa interview you're not going to the market you're not going out with your friends you're not going to club it's not all about clubbing it's like you are going to attend a job interview so you need to make sure that even though you're a woman you need to make sure that you also have that kind of formal casual or smart casual look type of clothing. When it comes to shoes, try to wear elegant shoes. I actually remember when I had my interview, I was actually wearing doll shoes, black one. I preferred black one because that time I was actually wearing dark navy dress. Can you also wear very tight dress? No. What about very tight shirt? No. What about t-shirt? No, try to avoid those. Again, you're going to attend an interview. You're not going to club. You're not going to hang out with your friends in the mall. Come on, be casual. What about for makeup? It's like what I said in my introduction a while back. Makeup. Yes, I also had my makeup. Eyebrow liner and a small piece of blush here and lip gloss. That's it. What about powder? Yes, because Manila is a very humid place. We need that one. We need to be, we need to maintain that kind of fresh look when we are going to have our interview. What about for accessories? Just like what I said a while back, you can wear a small piece of earring and necklace, but not the big ring and not that kind of dangling. Not too much accessories. Try to avoid those. Try not to wear the big kind of necklace or choker try not to wear those try to avoid those simple necklace is actually fine what about if you do not have your necklace then do not wear necklace if you do not have you don't have to buy you don't have to wear remember it's a visa interview and you just need to maintain smart casual look and of course for women like me we cannot go out without our bag but for your visa interview you need to make sure to leave your big purse at home do not bring them you just need to bring one small purse for your money candy and probably pen those are the types of dress or clothes that you can actually wear for your visa interview or they call it dress code for the visa interview avoid t-shirt avoid wearing sneakers avoid wearing fitted dress fitted t-shirt avoid wearing dress that can only be used in just one specific occasion these are the type of clothes that you're going to avoid when you're going to have your interview again no t-shirt no sports shoes no sneaker no sleeveless not showy type of dress not fitted dress not fitted shirt not too much not too much jewelry do not show your underwear do not show a part of your semi-private part do not put too much accessories or jewelry. 